Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Internet Explorer 11, as I've been posting over the course of the last year or so, has now been out of support and is no longer supported for the last couple of months. And that's actually since the 15th of June this year, 2022 to be exact. Now, although Internet Explorer 11 is no longer supported, it is obviously still installed and enabled on a lot of Windows devices. And because of that, and because of this, Microsoft has previously announced, and as I've mentioned previously, that an up and coming Windows update would be used to permanently disable Internet Explorer 11 on Windows 10. Now, recently, um, Microsoft has kind of changed their stance on this and has now in a recent announcement dated the 16th of December, which was just a couple of days ago in my region, has now said that an up and coming Microsoft Edge update is now going to be used instead to permanently disable Internet Explorer 11 on Windows 10 early next year. Now, just to do a quick recap for the purpose of today's video, um, I've long since uninstalled uh, Internet Explorer 11 from my Windows 10 device as I haven't used the browser now for years. And um, Internet Explorer 11 is mainly still used by corporations, small businesses and enterprises because a lot of their systems are still tied into the legacy browser although it is unsupported. Now, because it is unsupported, and Microsoft now is finally pulling the plug early next year with that Edge update. Now, in that recent announcement, I'm, um, and I'm just going to quote something very quickly from that announcement, they've said that the out-of-support Internet Explorer 11 desktop application is scheduled to be permanently disabled on certain versions of Windows 10 devices on February the 14th, 2023. And a side note here, that's actually Valentine's Day next year, in case you're unaware. And that will be through a Microsoft Edge update and not a Windows update as previously communicated. Now, Microsoft carries on to mention in that announcement that all remaining devices that have not already been redirected from Internet Explorer 11 to Microsoft Edge are scheduled to be redirected with the Microsoft Edge update scheduled on the 14th of February next year, 2023. So if you haven't been redirected already, you'll be permanently redirected to Edge um, on that February 14 update next year of the browser. And that means that the Internet Explorer 11 browser then would be permanently disabled. Now, if you are a corporation and enterprise or this does affect you, then I'll leave um, a link to that announcement by Microsoft in the um, description as it will provide you with a little bit more information. Now, um, although Microsoft is going to be using an Edge update to actually permanently disable the browser on Windows 10, they are actually going to be using up and coming Windows updates to remove kind of residue, as we would call it, visual traces and references like taskbar icons and start menu icons from Windows 10 using two uh, Windows 10 updates uh, scheduled next year. Now, the first update will be the optional bug fix C release update rolling out on the 23rd of May next year. And that will then permanently remove any visual traces and references of the browser. And if you don't, if you don't um, decide to install that optional update, then the 13th of June um, Patch Tuesday compulsory security update then um, on the 13th of June, which is scheduled um, for the second Tuesday of June next year, then will permanently remove any traces like taskbar icons and start menu icons from Windows 10 if it hadn't done so already. So just keeping you posted, 14th of February next year, Internet Explorer 11 permanently disabled in Windows 10, and then those two updates will then remove any visual references that may be left of the browser on Windows 10 uh, in May and or June next year. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.